Hi, my name's Tash. This is my first personal video for my channel, Mostly Knitting. I have a few videos up there with some knitting tutorials on them, but I thought I might start uh, recording some personal videos of my projects, things that I've made, um, so my finished objects, things that I'm um, working on at the moment, so my whips, uh, projects that I'm thinking about making, so my plans, um, any yarn purchases that I might have uh, bought or pattern purchases, and then at the end, I'll um, add anything that's not knitting related. So maybe any sewing that I've done or crocheting or weaving. Um, I haven't done any weaving for a while, but occasionally I do or, or um, any hand stitching. Anyway, so that's the format. Um, yeah, so I am a high school uh, teacher, a math teacher, and I live in the southern suburbs of Sydney. Um, you can probably see in the background, I live in a really bushy area. And yeah, it's really it's a really pretty area in Sydney. Uh, I also teach knitting at my local yarn shop. I do that about um, one day a month. I teach a few different classes on short rows and how to fix your knitting mistakes and knitting socks from the toe up. Uh, just a few different um, a few different classes there, which I really enjoy. Um, but I love both my jobs. I love teaching math and I love teaching knitting as well. So. Yeah, so that's me. I have three kids. Um, they are 20, a 20 year old daughter, a, a 17 year old daughter and a 15 year old son. And I have um, one dog. I did have two dogs until a couple of weeks ago. Um, our lovely dog Lily, she was 13. Um, we lost her a couple of weeks ago. We still have Gus, he's 12. Um, so you might hear him sort of tapping around and you might also hear some birds in the background um, because we are in a very bushy area. Uh, all right, so I thought I'd start with my finished objects. Just a couple of days ago, I finished this top that I'm wearing now. It's actually more like a jumper. It's Ranunculus by, uh, I don't know if you have to say this right, uh, Midori Hiroshi. Um, a friend of mine made it and she told me she only used about 600 meters, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I used um, some yarn that was in stash, uh, a lace weight, Juno Fiber Arts Alice Lace in the gold line colorway. Uh, and I, I used, I think I used 60 grams out of the 100 gram skein and uh, she's no longer dying anymore but I think the blend itself is a pretty popular blend. It's an alpaca silk cashmere blend where you get about 800 meters for 100 grams. Uh, so I did purchase some yarn to go with it from my local yarn store, uh, that's Skein Sisters, and I bought some Kremke Sole. I'm looking down here at my notes, that's why it's because um, I wouldn't remember all of this. Uh, some Kremke Soul Wool Silky Kid, and that's in colorway six, and it's a mohair silk blend, and I needed three skeins of that. Because I have so much left over, and three skeins of that was 600 meters, so I'm thinking I might purchase one more skein of it so that I can then do something with the leftovers together, like maybe a hat. Um, I'll talk about that in my upcoming plans. Video. So the finished object weighs 128 grams, so it's really nice and lightweight, and I'm just wearing it over a tank, um, and I think that's probably how I'd end up wearing it. Um, yeah, so I really like it. Um, it feels really lovely and really nice um, next to the skin. Uh, so whips that I'm working on, I have a few. I always have a few. Um, so what I'm, what I've got in front of me here, is um, some uh, socks that I'm making. So they are some shorty gusset heel socks. The pattern is um, gusset heel socks by Wendy Johnson. It used to be a free pattern on Ravelry, um, but the pattern's now discontinued, but it's kind of a formula. So uh, I think there are other people who do something similar. I'll look that up. I think it's maybe called a flegal heel. Um, anyway, it's I downloaded the pattern when it was available. Um, so I still have it and I use it when they're for short socks or long socks, um, just, you know, depending on what I'm, but they are socks from the toe up. So the yarn that I'm using is Vespa, Nettly Things Vespa sock yarn, and I'm using a 2.25 millimeter needle. This is the second one. So I am nearly finished. I'm just working on the, um, on the short rows for turning the heel at the moment. So that won't take long, especially because they're short socks. So that's the ball of yarn and I'm using a contrast matching skein so that I can get two short socks. I'm not really sure why I want two matching pairs of socks but I guess I just don't really like having um, stripy sock yarn leftovers because I never know what to do with them so I thought well if I use this and this then I'll get 
two pairs of socks um, out of the yarn. So they're nearly done and when they're finished I'll cast on another pair. I don't really have many short socks, I have a lot of long like you know mid calf or knee length socks so I thought well I want to start making some more short socks so as soon as these are done I'll uh, cast on another pair. I'm not sure what yarn yet but I'll find something. Uh, so that's that one. The other, um, another, I've got four um, whips. Another one that's almost finished, um, excuse me, reaching out of frame, is the um, Birds of a Feather Shawl by Andrea Mowry. And I'm almost done. Gosh, it's getting quite, it's very long. Let me see which is the right side. This is the right side. So, yeah, it's just enormous. Um, but I really like it. Um, and it's been a pretty intuitive and easy pattern to follow. And I'm just at the last little bit, the very last section. So, and I've almost finished the, um, the mohair and I've got, I've got that much left of the, um, so as the pattern's written, it uses about one and a half skeins of a fingering weight and one full skein of a lace weight. So the yarn that I'm using is skein, that one's skein Uptown Sock. And the other one was the Skein Mohair Silk Lace, and they're both in the colorway Wisp. Um, I think I'll just use the leftovers of the four ply for a either a, um, some color work because I have a lot of um, that. The uh, Skein Uptown Sock is a single ply merino, and I have a lot of single ply merino leftovers because I have a lot of Tosh Merino Light, and so I'll either use that as leftovers for color work or a stripy sweater. Um, anyway, so I'm on the last section, so I just I only have to do like a few more rows and then bind off, so that should be finished pretty quickly. Um, one little tip I have for that pattern, um, which probably most people have sort of realised, you do a double decrease, oh, I'm almost at the end, where is it? A double decrease, here it is, a double decrease here, and that's sort of, you know, every other row. And normally, well, the pattern says to put the marker on the needle itself, but then every time you get to it, you have to take the needle off, the stitch marker off, because you actually do a double decrease, like in between the stitch, like using three stitches around the stitch marker. So instead I've started marking the actual on the fabric, but there have been a few times where I've sort of sailed past that and gone a couple of rows back. So I've been sort of trying to save time by not having the stitch marker on the needle and taking it off, putting it back on again, but then I've ended up losing time by having to go back like a couple of rows at least two or three times. So I'm not sure which one's more inconvenient, probably the undoing. Anyway, next time maybe I'll just leave it on the needle and take it off and put it back on again. Anyway, so that's that one and it's nearly finished. Um, what, what else have I got? Uh, I am working on a muscle bra hat. I have made, I think about eight or nine of these. They're so easy, like you just do a little pinhole cast on and then increase out to a certain number of stitches, knit round and round and round and round, and then you um, do the matching decreases and bind off. So I've got that much left, which is about 15 grams, maybe 17 grams, and the increases used about eight grams. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll probably knit to almost where I've run out. I've made a few and I like the ones where they're a bit longer. And so I just have like a little um, yarn scales, which I use to, um, I think it goes up to 600 grams. Um, and that helps me work out how much I've got left. Or if I'm planning another project with leftovers, will I have enough? So I'm, I'm pretty dedicated about recording stuff and I get annoyed at myself when I forget to do that. So that one's nearly done and I will cast on another one. I sort of think this is a really great hat for presents and um, it uses like one fingering weight skein and I have I still have quite a lot, although I'm trying to work down my stash, I still have quite a lot of um, sort of single skeins that I'm not quite sure what to do with. So and my last project that um, whips that I whip that I've got on the needles is the dotted rays by Stephen West. Um, and the yarn that I'm using, I'm doing that. It can be written, you know, I had all these things loaded up on my iPad and then I completely forgot that I was going to show them to you as I talked about them. So um, that's Dotted Rays there by Stephen West. And you can see in the colour work, um, a, like a, a stripy version of it, that when you change colours, it sort of works in these short row wedges. So 
The way I'm planning on doing it is not color blocking like that, but I've got three skeins and these two are circus, the first, these two, the lighter, and then the middle one is circus tonic handmade um, soiree fingering, which is um, merino cashmere nylon blend. That's in Whisper and I think that's Kate Gannett. And then I have a, a Tosh Merino Light in an exclusive Skein Sisters colorway that I can't remember the name of. Um, and this was actually a skein that Skein Sisters gave away for free, including shipping to um, all of their customers in their newsletter um, uh, database. That was really very generous of them. And yeah, so I'm, I just love this color. So that will be, and I will, I'm, just at the point now I've got 30 grams of the light color left I'm going to start striping in the second one and then I'll do a block of that and then I'll start striping on this one and either I'll start I'm not sure I'll either start striping these two in or I'll just have this one as the at the end I haven't decided yet anyway this is how it's going so far I really like it it's got a really beautiful eye cord um, eye cord edging which I think is really pretty um, and there's heaps and heaps of short rows. So what I've done, I've just find with short rows when I'm um, when I'm doing them, I don't want to count every time. You know, if it's like knit until 12 stitches from the end. So what I do is I knit until until the end, do the short row, and then I'll do another 12 stitches, and then I'll put a stitch marker, and then finish the row, so that then when I come back. I already know where I need to stop so I don't go past it or I don't have to count so that's just my little tip for if you're knitting with short rows and you're sort of going really long and then back and then shorter and back and you don't want to have to keep counting when you go here and you turn and then you know this is where my next turning point is going to be put a stitch marker and keep going so that then when I come back I already know where I need to stop take the stitch marker out knit the next 10 or 12 or whatever the pattern says, put the stitch marker in again, just so that I know where I need to stop and I don't have to keep counting or going past it. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this pattern and looking forward to um, having that one done. I don't normally have that many shawls on the needles, but it's, um, it's the summer holidays here. And uh, because I've been doing some traveling, I find it easier to take shawls with me rather than, um, sweaters because with sweaters I'll want to try them on and that might not always be convenient whereas with a shawl I don't really care about you know the gauge isn't really an issue um, I'm just going to follow the directions and the pattern and I don't have to stop and go am I happy with the length of this and how much is it going to grow do I need to block it part way so um, so I'll finish that birds for feather and then um, I'll keep going on the dotted rays but I think this is my plan section um, I'll finish the those three the socks the muscle bra and the birds of a feather and then i'll cast on a new pair of socks when i finish the socks a new pair a new muscle bra when i finish that one um because muscle bra is really good for playground duty because i can knit without looking so i can walk around and watch the students make sure there's no dramas but still be working on my sock uh, on my muscle bra and it's kind of nice because the kids come up and ask me what i'm knitting and um and usually then ask me to make something for them to which I say no, but I'll teach you how to knit. Um, and not that many have taken me up on that yet, but you never know, you never know. I'm very happy to teach people how to knit. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with my webs. So the things that I'm thinking of casting on, um, I, I do want another sweater on the needle. So I just finished this one and I don't have a sweater on the needles at the moment. So my thoughts are, um, I thought about Garden Gate by Jennifer Steingass and I really like her patterns. I've done a lot of her, um, her colorwork patterns and I think I might make that one and turn it into a short sleeve dress. I've turned a lot of her patterns into uh, just lengthening them by making them a bit A-line and cutting off the sleeves to short sleeves because it's just too hot to have a long sleeve dress. Although I do have a few of those in a four ply. Um, yeah, and make it a um, a dress. So I'm thinking about that one. I've got to figure out what yarn to use. I'm not sure yet. The other pattern I'm thinking about making is Miserina by Caitlin Hunter and I have some leftovers of Tosh Merino Light in like a grey and a pink that I might use. So I'm thinking about that. The other one which is Avena, another one by Jennifer Steingass. I would just make that one a jumper. I don't think I'd make that a dress. I'm not sure. Maybe. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Um, and 
that's a worsted weight so I'm not really sure like that's a worsted weight so yeah it might be a bit heavy for a dress I probably might just make that one a jumper anyway that one I don't actually have yarn for so I'm not sure the other thing that I think I will do but not in a hurry is with the leftovers from this if um, if I get another skein of the crimp key I can make that sparkling cider hat by Kristen Lehrer who's full and fine um, but I don't like to use the same yarn straight away like I've already you get a bit bored with it you sort of want to do something different so um, I probably just put that away in stash and then when I you know a year later and I want to make it I'll make that hat and then it, it will feel like new yarn again um, yeah so that's that's my first video I'm trying to keep them pretty short I'd like to keep them in under 20 minutes um, the other thing I, I thought I might do just quickly is because I have been knitting for such a long time and I've knit a lot of sweaters I thought it might be nice to do like a faux from the vault section so have like a finished object that I made a while ago um, I don't know just obviously I've been knitting for a long time and I have things that I'd like to you know to show so um, I thought I'll show this um, sweater which I think is on my the one that I'm wearing on the picture in YouTube which is Freya by Courtney Kelly and this is in um, Road to China light it's quite it's just a sweater Road to China light uh, in all of the, the colorways are exactly the ones that were mentioned in the pattern and I like it but I don't think the colors really do me any favors I don't know I, I do like the sweater I just don't wear it that often it's not traditional fair old because it's got these little pearl bumps in it which are quite pretty uh, but I think I would probably like it more in a different um, in different colors I mean they are nice but I just don't think they really flatter me anyway so that's my one from the vault it's from an interweave magazine um, I have so many of those magazines I just uh, I've been thinking about what to do with them because you know how you just sort of I think well when am I ever going to look at them again and you know, I probably should do a Marie Kondo on them but you never know I sort of I'll go I want to knit something from one of them and then I won't have them so at the moment we've got a big enough house they've got a space but if we ever downsize that might be something I might um, think about de-stashing or giving away um, yeah so I haven't done any sewing in almost two years it's been a really long time so I do hope to get back to sewing. Uh, I've got a few things. I watch a few YouTube videos like, um, uh, I've forgotten the name of them. Anyway, I do watch a few YouTube videos on sewing and I'm hoping to get inspired and get back into sewing. I do have something that I need to do, which is probably not the most exciting thing to do, but I have these black pants, which um, uh, I ripped when I was trying to put them on, which isn't, great and they've ripped right around the pocket so I'm thinking about um, doing some mending on that and but it's a really stretchy like the fabric's really stretchy so I'm not sure I'd need to oh gosh I'm just seeing there's another little rip right there around the belt loop so yeah, either I'll do that myself or because I really like these pants I might even take them to a, a proper place and get it done I don't know I haven't decided yet um, but if I do something I might fix those the other thing that I was thinking about doing is making some pajamas but anyway if I do any of that I'll put that that will definitely be at the end I feel like I've talked enough now um, yeah so sorry about the ums and if I'm too quiet or uh, I'll hope to get better as I go along and yeah so if you enjoyed this please feel free to like and subscribe I'll try doing some more um, videos maybe once a fortnight we'll see how we go uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.